Island Walk. Yes, horrible mechanic, F tier. This one is most of the time a four mana three three, unless your opponent has islands. Yeah, then it's actually really good. It's just so clunky, not necessary. Uh -uh. Nah. Magic has around 250 mechanics and we're rating them all. From worst to best, land home. That's even worse than Landhawk. You can't, in this case, you can't even attack. It's, it's terrible. Yeah. For all you Dundan lovers, sorry. It's a feel bad. Hello. So our friend Yamin made a mechanic tier list. Yamin's not here right now, but if we had to put him on a tier list for friends, he would be S+. That's me. He ranked every mechanic in Magic from F to S+. And now we're going to have a look at his rankings. Tribute. Wait, an F? Mm, yeah, it's a bit harsh on Tribute. But it didn't really play well. We didn't also see it since then. It's just one of those downside mechanics. The decision wasn't very hard most of the time. And giving your opponent the choice is never a good thing. Yeah, people overrate how much of a choice is good for your opponent. So there were like those cards in Invasion that said like, do something or they take three damage and they were mostly horrible. Yeah. Even though they had a good rate on like the burning part, but if they don't need the damage, they just take the effect. So this one bunched up with Island Walk. Bye bye. So now we're in the F category, the worst of the worst. All the mechanics that were either not so hot or poorly designed or just not very good. Or all of the above. Mmm, <laughs> bending. This is here because it's too complicated, right? Well, can you name me what bending does? Carl. Yes? Can you read me the bending bedtime story? Once upon a time, any creatures with banding and up to one without can attack in a band. Bands are blocked as a group. If any creatures with banding you control are blocking or being blocked by a creature, you divide that creature's combat damage, not its controller, among any of the creatures it's being blocked by or is blocking. Now for those of you who didn't fall asleep, it's a very complicated mechanic, F tier. What happened? Radiance. What? What's Radiance? Yes. <laughs> well, you might have not heard of Radiance because it was bad. <laughs> it was terribly bad. It had something to do with colors and all creatures, not even yours, and it was... I feel like you have a lot to say about sweep. All right, so on my first page of my 16 document, <laughs> no, sweep is horrible. You have to return your lands and it scales to the number of lands, but usually it's the last spell you do because you return all of your lands and you have like a big effect. To be fair, it was in a set where the card hand size you had was a mechanic. Yeah, it played bad. So sweep has to end the game or it's useless. Yeah, you don't want to return your lands, you want to cast a spell. Now, I do not think Vanishing belongs in F tier. Mm, Jamin. Vanishing allowed you to make cards that were way more powerful for their mana cost because they wouldn't last long. Keldon Marauders is a great example. Blastoderm is a great example of cards that were staples in Magic and they're only allowed thanks to Vanishing. Yeah, but it's just to feel bad that you borrow something over time. You borrow sorceries for like a second, for one action. I think for a creature, it's fine. This was a good mechanic. It wasn't the best. I agree, F is a bit harsh. It could be like C. I say we bump it up to C. Okay, it's C. So Todd, if I assume we have the same opinion, this one is an F because it makes every game the same, right? Yes, you kind of up the numbers of the same card in your deck, but also, the format around it has to be so careful to not print in some other stuff. Mm -hmm. So it was just horrible in design, horrible in execution. Triple is not good. You don't usually play more than four of a card in a, in a deck. This usually does nothing. Not only that, also the draft was horrible. If you were in an open spot where your Ripple card was open, you just won the draft for no reason. So I've never heard of Transfigure, Dolph, but I assume it's because it's too good? But if it was too good, I would have heard of it. Oh no, it's a no, paradox. no, no, it's not good. It's basically the version from Transmute on the board. It's one of those things where in Future Sight they tried a lot of twists on mechanics and you won't be surprised that many of those will not have high grades, I assume. And Transfigure is just, yeah. The F tier will be littered with Future Sight cards. Well done, Jamie. Okay, now I do not think Renown belongs in the F tier. Renown was fun because you have a lowly little combatant who goes out into the world and if poof, if they hit the massive planeswalker, suddenly they're famous and they have a buff. I think Renown is a flavorful mechanic. Yeah, I feel F is very harsh, but... Let's bump it up to B. B? Yeah, in, in draft it was so cool. No, it was not cool. It was like you, it was so powerful. There were some cards that were really swingy and I think there's some bad draft vibe going into this rating. Yeah, in, in like low-level constructed, it was super fun. I say we move it to C. Yes, C is like C I allow. Tell if I know you've seen the Craw Giant, but no, this is not Trample. Trample is not in the F tier. No. This is Rampage 
Yes, a mechanic that is just so unrelevant. Turns out a mechanic extra for having more than one creature blocking, which never happens. Bushido happens when there's one creature blocking. Yeah, but even Bushido was bad. This one is for more than one. This is very corner case. Yeah. Uh, uh. Horsemanship is just flying for nerds. Also, it's funny because like it's like horsemanship. So what is it? A horse, a man, or a ship? <laughs> or a ship. Like, can you just could also be a cat woman? Car. Catwoman car? That's my favorite mechanic. Haunt. Mmm. Oh god, haunt. I don't know terrible. if haunt was F tier, but it wasn't very good. It was very complicated with remembering what it does, when it does. If you show somebody who doesn't know magic what haunt is, they'll do it wrong. It's super hard to track. You're right. Why is a blind hunter under your other creature? Yeah, yeah, but also like when does it happen? When the creature dies? Not the creature it haunts dies. Gravestorm. Yeah, one of those future side cards. Never did anything. Eh. Uh -uh. Most horrible. Future side. Frenzy one. Frenzy, 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 frenzy. Frenzy is so dull. Frenzy is, this is a 2-1, but sometimes it's a 1-1. One, one. It's it's not good. Now, I think Fortify in a flavor perspective is really cool. That you have to put it on a land? Okay, it's not good, but you'd have this cool artifact and then you would build it onto your land and then it would have effect. It's cool. Yeah, but it's basically just equipment for lands. Yeah, that's very cool. Mm. Nah. No, I D. Yeah, I think we could up it up for potential if you make the flavor right, but this one was never played. The thing was too clumsy. We, we give it a point for flavor, not for quality of card. So, so, let me go through this card, right? You pay two. Yeah. Then to pay three. Yeah. To use the land only as like a common trick for a plus one, plus I one. I said it wasn't good. Yeah, it was not good. D. We had fading. No, we had vanish. Vanishing. Oh, yeah. What's the difference between vanishing and fading? Nothing. Technology. So, Dredge. Some people will be very mad that it's an F tier, but I think Yamin actually made the right call. Oh, I don't know. It's a bit harsh. Dredge has some applications, you know? In the one game pattern where it's good, it's disastrous for everyone involved. True. And it's too good. And in every other case, it's just not playable. Well, sometimes in limited, you can dredge it back, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want to give it a D? No. I don't think cumulative upkeep belongs in F. Cumulative upkeep means that you, the game revolves around it. It's this thing that is so strong that you have to keep and pain for it more and more. Okay. Clash. <laughs> Clash. Remember Clash? Have you ever clashed in Magic? It's never been relevant. It's so bad. It says a lot that all the played cards with Cypher aren't played for their Cypher ability. Yeah. I mean, it's so much to ask. You have a creature and it needs to do damage and then your effect is bad. And by all of the cards, you mean Hidden Strings. Yeah. <laughs> ah, thank you, Jamin. Good call on Bushido being an F. I think Bushido deserves to be in another category because it's relevant more often than Frenzy, but it's not good. Yeah, it's just not what you want out of the mechanic. It's obvious. It has so many feel bad moments when people miss it because it's on the board, you know? It's banding, just with more hoops. You like banding? I put banding on your banding. <laughs> oh, that was F. Okay. That's all of F. So that was F. We moved the vanishing. We moved the tribute. If somebody tells me this is F, I would go. Oh, yeah, I'll sounds like an F. That's all right. Sounds like an F. All right. Uh, why are we skipping a letter here? Uh, American. Wait, are you American now then? No. Are you Tor Elf? Tor Elf? Skrell's Hive. We're looking at Corrupted. And we're now in the D tier. My favorite team. So this is just very redundant. It's toxic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, I get the flavor and I get like you're in a state of fear and you don't want to corrupt, be corrupted, but corrupted was such a hit or miss thing. Okay, Tarif, I think we have the first downshift because this does not, Phyrexian mana does not belong in D. Because you think it's so dangerous? I think it's very dangerous and it doesn't, I don't think it adds a lot to the game. I understand the feeling, they're like, oh, the Phyrexians. They're like, dangerous, they live in a world of torture and terror, so we're gonna make you pay life for your mana. Two life for one mana is not enough. I disagree if you look at more expensive cards. So if you go from like six to five, I think it could be an interesting choice. But that's no, there's no point. Then it's a five mana card with pay for life on it. It's not great. I'm not defending it very much. It also breaks the color pie. This mechanic, not a good no, idea. No, no, the biggest problem is going from one to zero because then you remove 100% of the cost and then everybody can play it. Not only that, Dismember is a black card that can be played in any color deck. I say we move this to F, they made a mistake. Okay, they made a mistake. I think they've realized it. Stickers is in here! It's a mechanic. Even a legacy playable one. It's a, I mean, it's a fun one, but why are Tempting Offer and Will of the Council bound together? Commander? I think Jamin just wanted to 
put them together because they're weird voting mechanics? I think Yamen put them together because both of these are relevant in multiplayer, but are terrible in single player. Oh yeah, and I think that's a poor, if you want to design something for multiplayer, it should be that if you play it in single player, it also works. The same way a lot of single player cards can also work in multiplayer. Yeah. And this one just, it causes a card that's either boring or way too broken if you play in single player. I don't know if you release it in a commander deck, it's fine, but also voting in commander or like all of those things are just really terrible because usually you don't get anything out of it, right? Yeah. Why would just vote somebody with you? Yeah. yeah. I like I like it at the The void, basically not a mechanic. Well, this mechanic deserves a B for boring. All right, we have D as Doring. Fair enough. <laughs> for, for Devoid. <laughs> That's the same card, but with Ingest, ah, which is smart. Also, I know. It is also so boring. Yeah, somehow exciting your opponent's stuff is not fun for you and not fun for your opponent. Then... Yeah, also, you're, you're dealing damage. You're doing the thing. Exiling one card is not, no. It's irrelevant. Something that is like bound to a very minor number of things, especially allies. Was never relevant, is never relevant. That's like Merfolk plus one plus one. That's your mechanic. No, it's not a mechanic. Yeah, exactly. It's Merfolk. It's tribal. So now I wonder why Carlton's Dilemma wasn't in the other thing, because it's also one of those voting things. I guess But that... it's even more boring voting, because you vote for death or taxes. Neither of those are good. So I see what Damon did here. I think he wanted to put all those commander cards, not at D, uh, not at F. So that the commander players don't so leave? Then, yeah, it's like, it's like, but... Really, it's commander things. The thing is, this spell is basically a four mana board wipe. They're in commander. So, yeah, well, because you're never yeah. playing this in any yeah, other yeah. format. It's, yeah. a, it's a commander card that's not played in Legacy. I don't know. So I, it's a four mana board wipe that sometimes costs a little bit more. I would even think that this belongs to F because who designs things goes like, oh, you know what? It's also playable if you play as two, it just costs six, you know? Yeah, fun. It's, it's like those lands that come into play untapped if you have more opponents, but that's good because that's a good way of putting dual lands into commander. Yeah, it's fine. In this case, you're giving the payoff you're giving them is a, is a Wrath of God, and sometimes it costs a little bit more. They could play it in two player, but nobody would ever. Yeah, wasted mechanic. Well, I think Afflict is kind of okay. Afflict is a little bit like Bushido. You don't want to block it really, but you get for like a punishment for blocking, even though it's it's kind of just a minor one. Like and if, it adds a, up. if a flick was on more relevant aggro cards, I think it would see more play because it's it's cool. It's imagine sometimes you attack with your your big uh, monastery swift spear, but and they block it, but at least you get some damage in. Oh, imagine if monastery swift spear had a flick. Oh boy! <laughs> I put it to C. I don't know. It seems so un unexciting. Okay, it doesn't matter. A flick will never be seen again. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Jamie, that's spicy. One. Yeah, the thing is, initiative is super fun in limited and it's flavorful, but it broke multiple formats. Yeah, it's flavorful. It's fun because in the D and D, if you run into a room and you didn't know that there's someone, they have the initiative over you, and they can beat you up better. They have a bigger advantage, but then you're fighting over the initiative. It's cool. It's flavorful, but it's also nice. Yeah, and. I mean, I think all the initiative cards that are reasonable are banned in all the formats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, D. I, I can see that. It's a D. D as in Doring. Okay, I don't think this one is fair. Cleave is pretty cool. The, the idea of Cleave in Innistrad, where they cleave stuff all the time, and you just cut out a piece of the text for a certain cost is very cool. Are you one of those people who finds it cool to look at the dictionary and learn new words? Yes. Yeah, because it's not cool to have to... You have to learn the word cleave? No, but it's like, oh, look how fancy we are with our brackets and it, it fits. You it know? moves up to B. Oh, Toralf, do you want to tell us why regenerate is in B? So I can tell you what regenerate did when we were kids. <laughs> Actually, no, you can't when you dig with... No one knew. It's so, it's so counterintuitive. Oh, so your creature doesn't die. Uh, oh, no, we during combat, correctly. and then they're like, no, it's no longer in combat. Also, it's tapped for some reason. It's yeah, I mean, there's a reason it never came back again, and it was oppressive and limited. It was kind of annoying constructed. It's no fun when it's impossible to kill a creature like I that. I wouldn't even be sad as an F. It's going down. So why is phasing better than F? I don't know, because phasing is hella confusing. No, it's not confusing. Well, it's just there or not there. The, the eternal question of man. Yes, exactly. Are you phased? Schrodinger's magic card. It's either there or not there. I'd put it in F. Let's put it in F. Nah. This one is okay. Like it's it's probably here because it's not relevant most of the time. 
It's kind of narrow, so they replaced fear with intimidate, which is broadly in color. And making a mechanic that is only relevant to one certain color creatures. It played bad. It's like uncool. It's just... You heard it. Uncool. It has to be an F. Bury is just destroy. Is with it even no a mechanic? Regeneration. Oh, oh, with no regeneration. Oh. It's important. Yeah, unnecessary F. I feel like a lot of magic cards have this text on it without being called undergrowth because it's just a common thing. Yeah, sometimes they build this into like those names so they can see everybody's connected for a certain theme. But I agree, it's not exciting. Rally is an Ellie and Ellie is Belly. I, the only reason it's not an F is because there's a word ally in Rally, which is kind of neat. Kinship D, I... You've got friends on top of your library. Yeah, but it's so swingy. D. Yeah. Ah, Commander. <laughs> just people can help. Yeah, just people can help you pay your magic cards. You know what they won't do? Pay for your magic cards. Okay, now Grandar is kind of cool because it makes your leg drawing a second legendary not irrelevant. I think Grandar was a neat fix to a niche problem. I yeah. think it deserves to be a C. I don't know. C? C. You could convince me on a good design, I agree. The, so this mechanic is super flavorful, and I assume that's why Yaman didn't put it in F, because it's on your last moment, everyone's about to die. You try to rivet like last hurrah, but this car, this mechanic, when you want it to be good, you have to be at a life total where you're about to die anyways. So most of the time, it was just kind of a bad card. I like the gameplay around it, but for most of the game, it doesn't matter. Battalion enters a long list of if you attack with three creatures, or if you attack with two creatures, something happens. Or Usually a plus one plus one counter of some kind. Yeah, yeah. Not exciting. Yeah, it's just... C? Let's give it a C. Battalion is one of the better ones of if you attack with three creatures. Oh, horrible. Totem Armor is just mostly a feel bad. It's cool in Boggles. That's the only place where it's no, fine. That's exactly where it's not cool, because then it actually does something. I think it's an F. Uh, let's move it down to F, I agree. Oh, Soul Shift. That's an A. Soul Shift is an A. It was so fun. I mean, it's unplayable anywhere else, but drafting with Soul Shift is so fun. Yeah, in draft, it gave you endless value, but everywhere else, this is not a good mechanic. Okay, so B? C. Recover is kind of cool. It gives you a one chance, one moment, a brief window to rebuy your card. It was almost never a relevant window, and it very rarely came up, but it was cool when it happened. It gives so, you a sense of urgency. Fun fact, Recover was made because they wanted to re- do Nether Shadow and Ashen Ghoul and all of those things that care about graveyard order. Yeah. But they couldn't do graveyard order anymore because it's in modern, like you don't want this. So they had to exactly name the timing of something dying and that is recover. And they realized it doesn't work. So I agree. Bad, bad mechanic. D. So we said the ally thing, this only cares about rogues. So I'm sorry. D. Mm. Only very specific stuff, not fun. Yeah. No. Provoke is irrelevant in combat. Just saying, you don't need it. Toxic in D. Well, if corrupted is an F. Toxic and poisonous together? Yeah, there's basically one feature side card who is the same mechanic. Oh, so they just renamed it for flavor. It is corrupted, I agree, useless. Yeah, not cool. It's a, this one is a good commander card. Craft is fun. It comes in and it's like with a bunch of tools on it and every time someone, one of your soldiers runs by, they pick a tool off of it and they use it in combat. Yes. All of this I can see. There's one enormous downside on Graft. It triggers on every creature, also your opponents. So if you play it, for example, on any of the clients like Arena or Magic Online, it always comes like, ding, do you want to Graft? Do you want to Graft for every creature that enters the battlefield? It's terrible. It makes the game longer. So it's only annoying on Magic Online? I think in real life it's a kind of fun mechanic. Given that there's a million more people that play in paper than Magic Online, I think we can bump this up. Fair. <laughs> Here you go in the C section, Helium Strider. The idea of Forecast was cute. Oh, look at this card's coming. Look at this small ability. You got a taste. Here's a taste. Do you enjoy this taste of my Pride of the Clouds? But it wasn't very good. Paying four mana for a 1 1. Yeah, usually they were overcasted. You played some of the cards for the effect, but not for Forecast. Partner with. Is that even a mechanic? Sure. You get two commanders. Very cool. I think regular partner is probably a lot better than this. This is a D. Describe flanking in five words. Rampage, just a bit better. Good enough. Now, Fate Seal is iconic because Jace the Mind Sculptor did it yeah. with his plus two, and people call it Fate Sealing. And how do you feel when somebody Fate Seals you? Terrible. Mm. Echo doesn't belong in D. Echo, once again, like vanishing or fading, is a way to 
have more powerful cards for lower cost. So would you say Evoke is D? No. So oh. how is Echo not D? Because Evoke gives you the effect right away and Echo, you want to stay around. You, there's no, like, yes, yeah, sometimes okay. you have Echo creature with an effect. The Ishino Outrider is not the best example of what I'm trying to say. Yes. But like Avalanche Riders, for example, is sometimes you want the 2-2 to stick around, so you pay yeah, for it twice. Yeah. Sometimes you just want to destroy a land and hit someone in the face for two. If they have extra cool stuff that you use for the effect, I can see what you're saying. It's basically a bit of a vogue. So do we override Yemen and put Echo in C? On exciting cards, I could even see it in D. Uh, in D. Let's put it in B then. Okay, but usually sacrificing your creature is not worth a plus one plus one counter. Yeah. So this is a super fun mechanic, but it's so hard to track. It's horrible. It's You're supposed to do that even if your card doesn't matter. You know it doesn't matter. You still have to track. On turn one, you play a werewolf oh, yeah. and we start tracking. I destroy it immediately. And for the rest of the game, we have to start tracking. Yeah, night I would and be day. surprised if any game that started with turn one, nightbound or daybound was played correctly. It's just very narrow. Like, you can tap creatures. It's not exciting. That's probably why it's in D. Mistbind Clique is an example of a creature with champion that is very good. Yeah, but the blowout factor is so high. If the creature dies, you don't get it. It's a lot to ask for less to get. Also, if you don't have a creature in play, it's just stuck in your hand. Yeah, exactly. yeah. D. 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 It's one of those things you just don't care about. This example encapsulated perfectly because it's a six mana amplify card. Once you're playing six mana, you shouldn't have any beasts left in your hand. No, you start, you have all your beasts that cost seven. <laughs> protection should be an F. And I feel very strongly about this because protection is only from one color in general. And it's a massive feel bad. You'll play this white knight against four opponents. Three of them will be like, oh, I, I don't care about your 2-2 first strike. And one of them will be like, I can't interact with this card at all. Yeah. And I lose the game. Everything that reduces your interaction is pretty bad. And I'm kind of surprised that not Shroud or something is in D. We might run into Shroud in D, but protection does definitely deserves to be an F. All right, so let's review here. We've bumped down Regenerate, Phyrexian Mana, but Afflict gets to take an early lead. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get into C, which is a section where I assume most of the time we'll just look at a card and go, oh, oh, I remember that mechanic. Yeah. If, if C doesn't strike you as not C, here's what we're doing. You get the C. Right. Whenever you see, you just mark it as C, next one. Okay. Ah, that, I feel like we need to talk about that one because Open and Attraction was either super fun or super not fun, but never kind of the middle. Actually, that's a very C answer. Because it's a random attraction. Yeah, people. And some of them were garbage. Actually, there was literally a garbage. It's also very parasitic because you want a lot of those to make all this work. I don't know. It played okay. It was kind of cool, but then also not. I can see it in C. Okay, C. Casualty. Eh, sure. Yeah, exactly. As long as this is your reaction, it's just C. Inspired is non-inspiring. Mm, Formidable is just ferocious, but less often. Yeah. C. Uh, yeah, but you collect. It's, yeah, All right, just take it. So it basically attacks every opponent. Mm. What? That's very cool. So when you don't want to make a decision of who to attack in Commander, why not attack all of them? That's lazy. D. Why, why is this not D? We've I, already I think it's kind of cool. All mecha commander mechanics are D. I didn't say that. I think this mechanic is, des deserves to be in C. So it really doesn't sound as good as you said it. No. Oh, do we have a coin? So Ralph, here's what we're going to do. Mirrod is currently in C. That's where Yaman put it. But I think it deserves to be in B. And you think it deserves to be in D. You want to put it in B? OK, this is a high class, educated tier listing. These each have Yaman, Ralph, or I's face on them. Pick one. Okay, it stays in C. I guess that's a good compromise. So just cool because it incentivized you to play more cards. Yeah, that's a very C feeling. C. So Mark Rosewater recently went on record in his podcast saying that Skulk, kind of a mistake, very irrelevant. It pulled the worst out of all the mechanics in that set. Hmm. I can see it. Unexciting. I think this incentivizes you to cause chaos, which is cool. It's a plus for me. I don't have feeling. Oh, yeah, that's a C. It's like, if you read the name and you feel like there's nothing moving in your body, it's just a C. Sorry, Adamant. Coven is so hard to track. That could be worse even, huh? Like as a D? Ah, uh, yeah. It doesn't feel like also the payoff. Seems. It's never exciting. You know, like, yeah, you have a 1-1, one, one, a 2-2, two, two, and a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're downshifted to D. Nah. Ah, there we go. There are people that say Shroud is better than Hexproof as like a mechanic. 
which I can see. I think Hexproof is a little bit more better for rules and just action, so it's better for the game. Intimidate. Fear. fear. I think Morbid deserves better than to be in C, because it's a set where things die, and you're supposed to care about death. And they introduce Morbid. You play a removal spell. Oh, it's just minus one, minus one. But if something died this turn, it's minus 13. You play a creature. But if it's in the sudden aura of death around it, if death is in the air, suddenly it's bigger. I think Morbid is very cool. You convinced me. <laughs> it's a B. It's also cool. Sometimes you had like, oh, are they bluff attacking? Mm -hmm. Or do they want more? Or do they want your creature to die? Exactly. So. A lot of those state base where you count one, two, three. Oh, cool, I have three artifacts. There's some really broken metal craft cards, but see, that's formidable, but smaller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to live in a world where Blood Rush is in C. Is that up or down? Way higher. Oh. Blood Rush is so cool because you want your creatures and sometimes you wish you had pump spells. Sometimes you have pump spells and you wish you had creatures to pump with them with. This is super modal and it's really, it's flavorful. Like, you throw whatever your creature or all your energy or all your essence into one creature. So you lose your creature, but you get a combat uh, where it's stronger. I, I think Blood Rush, very fun mechanic. I want a lot of things in life, but combat tricks really isn't the one where I said, like, oh, you know what I really would like Because you usually have to sacrifice a creature for your combat trick. So you want to put it in B? I want to put it in B. Okay. Oh, yeah. I like Addendum. It, it doesn't give me anything, but I like the, oh, do I want to do it now thing. It's cool, but I feel like it's not splashy enough to be outside of C. No, I agree. A lot of the plus one, plus one counter mechanics are very meh. Yeah, they're not really, yeah, I agree. Ooh, interesting. In C. I don't know, some multicolor things are exciting. It does push you to play more colors or a payoff if somehow you get a bunch of treasure tokens going. I could see this in B. I could see it in B as well. All right, it's beat. It's hard to track. So when you play magic, <laughs> <laughs> because it pairs with every single creature. Yeah. Soulbond was either way too good or way too bad. I don't think Shadow deserves to be in C. I think Shadow is a bad mechanic. Mm. I was not knowing where you're going when you did The, the first time I saw a Shadow card, it, it blew my mind. I, shadow and Hatred, I was like, wow, this is an insane combo. Yeah. But then I realized, sometimes you have Shadow creature and you'd like to block. You said how unblockable is bad. Shadow is unblockable, but also can't block, but also sometimes can be blocked. And it's also hard to track because some of the creatures with Shadow don't really look like they should have Shadow. You could give it a point for style, like the flavor of in the Shadow Realm. Yeah. But it's enough. Yes. All right. I agree. Yeah. It's, it's a plus one plus one counter mechanic. It feels good when you do it, but yeah. it's not great. Like, you don't go, oh, I scattered. Not like when you reinforce one. No, that one's terrible. It's a C. Oh! I assume it's mostly here because it's really complicated. Yes. But it's also kind of cool. The idea is cool. If you play it without any necessity to be right, I think it could be even like an A or something because it's really cool to build your stack. I've seen a commander but deck which does like all of this. Sometimes new players will try an interaction and they'll just break the game. Like they won't understand, they can't finish the game because they don't know how it works. It's, very, it's a bit weird, like it can be a human, so there's a lot of restrictions and I don't know. It stays in C. C for cat. Monstrosity is cool for flavor. Like you've got a creature, then if you pay a lot, it becomes really big and monstrous. Oh, it does more things. It has plus one plus one counters. Okay, you're right, C. Interesting with affinity, like that was where it really showed up. Yeah, I feel like almost this doesn't deserve to be with the other plus one plus one counter mechanics because it does have some cool interactions and in affinity. Also, like with robots and dissembling and giving away, I wouldn't mind a B. Yeah, modular is a B. Attacking and plus one plus one counter. Oh counters. no. How C can it be? <laughs> Would you like a plus one plus one counter? Or a one one, which actually is a lot of... There's nothing more C than a one one. Okay. Mm. Extort. Let, let's take... Break. Pause. Extort is a special mechanic. It scales in multiplayer, it becomes broken in multiplayer. It was it's all playing constructed. It was super good and limited. It was two headed giant rogue games. I, and it feels so Orzov that every time you play a spell, you're like, up, 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 which you have to pay a little bit more. I think I think for flavor and power level, Extort deserves to be a B or even an A. It's fun. It's fun. I agree. It, it's fun to siphon every time you play, and it's so Orzov. We'll move it to A. Yay! Donk! I, I like that it's smoothing, like you can get a land. Oh, it's a good mechanic, it's just not very exciting. Yeah, no, it's not. 
That was kind of cool. It was flavorful. Was it exciting? See. Si. Just like support. <laughs> More plus one plus one counters. Battle cry. If you attack with creatures, this one is a little bit better. Okay, this this one is a weird one. So if you don't like the aura you put on your creature and you want to take it back, you can give it flying in this case. I don't even know why this is a C. This is also one of those one-time futures, I think. Maybe yeah. the appealing is cool. It doesn't even have anything. I think Yamin is a, a bit of a nerd. And he's so all like, oh, this is a quarter case. So we as reasonable people, what do we do? We put it in D. Why D? We put it in F. Right. F it is. So it feels very Eldrazi to attack and your, your opponent just loses its permanence. You know what else is pretty good and Eldrazi? Attacking with a 15-15 or a 8-8. How many times is Annihilator really like the bad thing that happens? I don't know, I like C, yeah. Yeah, it's like a win more. It feels good, but it's, it's a C. Fun story, Idrits has to attack each combat if able because when they play tested the card, they wanted people to attack because it has Annihilator but they kept on calling back because it is a big blocker. So they said, no, we want you to attack. So we put this in <laughs> and it makes the card better like for the people who don't know how to use those cards because they're forced to attack. Oh yeah. So there were some relevant to that cards. It's like monstrosity. You're never like, whoa, this mechanic is so cool. If you want to get someone into magic, you don't show them an adapt card. Yeah. I think absorb is really neat because it feels, if you tell someone, oh, this card has absorb, They'll be like, I can basically understand what this means. Like, okay, you absorb one of each damage. It's, it's like got a force one. field. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It doesn't play really cool. Also, it's very strong. It, the problem about those things is this feeling of scalability is very hard to assess. Absorb one is already really powerful because you have like multiple blocks. Yeah. How does it work with multiple blocks? You know, I would be... Not, it's, it's safe to keep it. It's yeah, I would not be happy to put it up. Reach is a classic mechanic. I'm surprised to see such a staple of magic and see but the thing of reach is most of the cards with reach don't look like they would have reach or the cards that have reach don't have reach like sugar. Yeah. do you know this spider from Lord of the rings the big one it doesn't have she love it doesn't have reach she love doesn't have reach but giant spider has reach i don't know i don't understand hex booth is a feel bad so we put it at d let's put it at d all right we've moved a lot of mechanics around I'm happy to see Blood Rush in it, A. That makes me tingly. Extort we move to A. Yeah, Extort is very strong. I like it. Yeah, A so lot far. of things are just unimpressive from stay at C. But now we're moving to B. The good mechanics are coming. Prototype. It's cool. It's modal. I like the flavor of giving it a color and then not giving it a color. Yeah, it's a B. It feels a lot like the if you attack with a few creatures. I agree. Let's C? No, no feeling about it. I guess Commander? Yeah, I like this one more because you can build a deck around it. It, it, in the same way, it teaches new players to play better because it teaches them to play their commander, which usually synergizes with the rest of their cards. It reminds them that they have a commander. So it's like revealing top card, and then you get a bonus for every non-land thing. It's it's okay. I like the moment where it's a parlay. Everyone meets in the middle and flips their top card. Okay, it's cool. If you attack the player with the biggest life total, it's not exciting. I like that it messes commander up to a point where you know where you're attacking it takes a little bit away from the king role it changes the dynamic yeah. it's cool it's okay Ooh, i like awaken give you a bit more oomph for your buck yeah it's not exactly exciting but it's modal sometimes you do your regular spell sometimes you get a creature with it it's cool late game you can think about if you're holding it for effect and it's very good how in zendikar it makes you care about your lands you know yeah it's good Ah, Delirium's tough. Although it's hard to track, there's a lot of classic cards with Delirium. Yeah. And it makes you build your deck in a very specific way. i say it's a good B. It, like, I think, I feel like it would be an A if it wasn't so complicated to track. Yeah, I agree. It's strong. It's a good mechanic. What do you want me to tell you? It doesn't really excite anybody. Huh? No, but it's very powerful. Yeah. Okay. I would put Reward Lord. Yeah, it's hard to track sometimes, and it's never very exciting. No. It's not like, oh, congratulations, you managed to pull off this really cool thing, a permanent left the battlefield. Faded push. It's a good card, but Revolt is not a good mechanic. It's a C. C? Alright. What? In the name of Colossal Dreadmaw... Set in motion? Is set in motion? Well, set in motion is you change between schemes. It's like a worse than commander arc enemy thing. You know how people this have like Arcanemy. this. Enemy. So how is this worth a B? Maybe Jamin has some intel. I say C. It's like the king rolled the die. I say probably seven people. Have I ever say played like with the this. people who side who like this. Tell us what you think in the comments about set in motion. Abandon is the same thing, just for a different theme. 
the same. The same. You know how all the like all people can pay, help you pay and everything? I this is like a fixed version of that. One other player. I can go like Todd. Please, you wanna be my friend. I'm yeah, not gonna attack you. It has the same problem and it's so undercosted, uh, overcosted and for a normal player. Now, it's commander, all your cards are overcosted for normal. But players. I at least like the bargaining with it. So I put it a C. I like how it's like a, if if you had all your spells randomly create a new creature, then it would have a completely different feel than this one orc army that you pile up or this one undead army. I think it's a fun, well-made mechanic. Agreed. Good job, Watsy. Good job, Jamin. Rating it a B. So on this card, Pack Tactics is awesome because it gives you a dragon. Yeah. Most of the time, Pack Tactics is kind of boring. Yes. C. So Pack Tactics C, Minion of the Mighty, A. <laughs> If you attack, plus one, plus one counters. This is the most C thing. I, s I say we bump it down. Oh, Threshold. I like Threshold. So Threshold, we, we, old, we have gray hair in some places. We associate Threshold with this really cool old time. It's counting your graveyard. The cards with the small graveyard on them, the grave there, tone. Yeah. But there's nothing exciting about having seven or more cards in your graveyard. Mm. And the payoff is some cards were really good, some don't do not do much. I think, yeah. C? Yeah. Oh, it makes me sad, but C. We're old. Some things we don't get to care about anymore. That's one thing I don't care about, because I don't think Imprint is that exciting. I think it's another C. Agreed. Now, Heroic is very cool. And people feel strongly about Heroic. I can see it as an A. Yeah, also it made, your, it made you have to play Pump Spells, which, unless you're playing Rampage, Pump Spells are not very good, so now you're playing bad cards, but you're making it work by making this one really strong creature. So you take away like the Shroud and Expo stuff, but you reward yourself with cooler. Yes. I yeah. think I think Heroic was very well. Heroic also very flavorful, very, very intense. I mean, hey. It feels so bad to have no cards and at least you get something for it. Well, see, yeah. And you know how I told you having seven cards in your graveyard isn't really a milestone that you're celebrating, but having no cards in hand feels like you played everything out, you're rewarded for going all in. I wouldn't even put it in A. I think it's an A. Nice. And Rage is pretty cool. Like, you, you hit the dinosaur, the dinosaur gets angry and hits back. It's basic, but cool, so B? Yeah, B. I don't know. It feels on theme. You don't want to block it. It feels irrelevant enough. Like, not irrelevant enough to make it a B. It's also stronger than you feel like it is when you play with the card at first. Ah, yeah. uh, it's a good B. Okay. Unleash is very Rakdos. It's cool. It's like, it feels like it sounds. Like, you have your skeleton thing. It's like, oh, let me loose, let me loose. And if you hold it normally, it can't block because you're holding it back, but it's less strong. But if you let it loose, it goes. It's a lot stronger, but it can't block because it's out attacking the thing. You get one counter. Like, okay, it's a C. Storm. Storm is a B. This is a contra. I feel like Storm is either S or F. Maybe maybe this was Jamin said, and then he just couldn't decide, so he just put it in B. Let's leave it there. Let the other. Oh, no, it's leave it there. I, I don't. I I I don't want to either anger everyone in the comments. So here's what we're doing. I would say Storm for limited is an S. Yes. And Storm for constructed is a. F. Because in Limited, when you pull off Storm, it feels like a storm. It's a big turn, you do a cool thing, but in Constructed, it's too easy to chain some mana generation and then break it. So yeah. Love it. Why is this in B? This is so boring. Boring? You, yeah, you it's can, almost you can never craft relevant. Your own spell? If you have seven mana. Hmm. I'm doing you a favor by leaving it at B. It's a bit like the Morbid thing, where you not sure if your opponent wants to just attack. It's very Rectos. Yeah. It's very Rectos. Rectos people are like, they hurt themselves for the show, and now it's, there's blood in the air. They're all exciting, they do more things. Yeah, I like it. So Riot is only relevant on one single card, and it's Girl Spellbreaker. Oh, yeah. What about Rhythm of the Night? I thought that was a song. Ah, yes. Rhythm of the Night is a song. Rhythm of the Wild. Ah, Rhythm of the Wild. Yeah, Riot is pretty good. I don't have strong feelings about it. You could put it in C. Let's put it in C. All right, it's Seed. Replicate. Oh, Replicate is either super strong or uh, it's usually pretty yeah. strong. Rebound feels you very good. like cool. twice the spell for just one. Yeah, and sometimes it fizzles, so you still have to have a target around. It's strong. I like it in A. I think it's a A as well. It's a well-made mechanic. Getting to S is really hard, huh? So those are basically the same thing as like strive targets, creatures. It's good, it's, it's, it's kicker, but with more modality, if you have 11 mana, it's... I could see that as an A. Would you put Kicker as an A? No, Kicker is. I hope at least S. Kicker is really good. Let's put let's put multi kicker at A. Cool. 
I like Manifest is a cool mechanic. I like this. Oh, is this a creature or not? The flavor doesn't make any sense to me, but the the way it plays out is very cool. Yeah, I agree. So there's a lot to say about Infect. I don't like it. Here it's B. Some people love Infect. It's a beloved archetype in modern. I think it's the storm thing all over again. I like Infect more than Poison Counters because it has Wither. So it feels infected. Yeah. It feels like you're touching something with rabies. Hey, it's cool. You, you do change your play depending on if you play against it. It's it's well-made shadow. It's like they feel in a different universe. They interact with the game in a different way. Only have to do 10 points of damage. They put minus one, minus one counters on the creatures. But at least these can block. Yeah. Okay. In fact, B accepted. I, I think Jumpstart is good. It's basically the same with Kika. Flashback is probably an S plus, I hope. So Jumpstart is like it's So everything that's younger a subcategory brother. is like lower. Hideaway feels like a cool mini game. The reward is kind of cool. It doesn't come up a lot of the time, but when it does come up, it's like you did the thing. Yeah. Uh, which is fun. So I think it deserves a slot in B. Mm. The thing about Fortel is there's not a lot of playable Fortel cards. So it's like telling exactly your opponent what you hit. It, but uh, reducing the cost, dividing the cost of something is fun. I like Exploit. It's a good trade-off. Makes your drafting unique. Your deck building. Yeah, I don't know if it's exciting. And it's not necessarily powerful. So I don't know if it, it's got the chops to be in B. It's a good mechanic. It's overall fun. It's. I think it's a good B one. I think Exert is a well-made mechanic. It sounds like what it feels. It usually has a strong payoff and it's like, oh, Glorybringer put everything into burning something down. Yeah, like a one-time throw. B. Love it. I like the like the growing within stronger parts. You sacrifice something, get a bigger beast. Yeah, which goes with Emerge. It's like exploit, but kind of worse. It played cool. Yeah, it stays in B. I think Blood First is very flavorful. Yeah, you must be a fan of Blood First. You're a ghoul. A grueler. It's one of those mechanics that teach people to do the right thing, which is attack. I don't know how this makes it to B, because it's really annoying to track. And then it's just you get this thing. Yeah. I think it's flavor-ish fun, but C? C. It's cute because humans become 1-1 one -one spirits. Flavorful. One one spirit is not exciting, but you could scale over the number for afterlife. I don't know. I've never seen a person who says like afterlife. No, that's a good mechanic. But to scale the number of afterlife, so when you die, you make seven spirits. There are afterlife two and threes. That doesn't make any sense. Sorry. C. Vigilance. <laughs> How is vigilance in B? Isn't this one of the most iconic on through all sets? Yeah, but is it cool or necessary? Like. How strong is it? How does it feel? It's pretty strong. Does vigilance you, mean Attacking it is good. Blocking is good. What about when you get to do both? Yeah. Nah, nah. Th this is an A. Dodge, this is an A. Yaman made a mistake. It's okay. Yaman makes mistakes sometimes. It is a core mechanic. They, they make it so often because... I don't know. I can feel that you're not excited about vigilance. Like, you don't go like... Oh. Uh, you know when you're excited about visions? When you have to attack, but you would die on the swing back, so you get to attack and also block. Okay, it's great. Fine. It has about some vigilance. cool design stuff. Vigilance is an A. Menace. Menace is in B. Uh, Menace is not that exciting. It's really good, but I, it's. I think it's B. So we've been moving a lot of stuff around, but not that much in A, and nothing in S and S plus. No. But it's okay. Now we get to the A slots. Let's see what Yamen Back deemed up. as some of the best. Back up one is not one of the best. I like it. This is starting, it's plus one, plus one counters. It's, uh, yeah. So rather a B? I say it's a B. Okay. Incubate is cool. It's an I. Oh, completed Planeswalker. You said all in a way that makes me feel like I'll have to fight both you and Yaman. So not only does it use a normally predatory mechanic, I find, which is uh, for X and mana costs, but also it's so dull. Okay, you get a slightly worse Planeswalker for one less mana. Sure, it's modal, but no one's ever been excited about any of them. It makes a cool use that you can trade resources for other and then you have a downside of not the amount of numbers and it doesn't make the card that much stronger or worse because you, you can twist the numbers before. So on paper, this is kicker. On paper, everything is kicker. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is correct. I don't know, it's such a worse kicker. And only on Planeswalkers is very specific. It's, you know how everything that was only on Goblins was bad? Well, only on Planeswalkers... Yeah, but the only on Goblins thing cared only for Goblins. This one cares for nothing. Also, if Tamiyo is completed, why do you only sometimes play the Phyrexian cost? It should be strong, and it also deals you two damage, because it always pays the Phyrexian cost. Okay, you must that, be that's forced. very nitty. You're okay B. with the B? I'm okay with the B. This is cool. 
Is cool enough for a name? No. Right. It's cool. Uh, it's a uh, C. Ooh. B. Ooh. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> B. It is. This is a C. Knives? No. Yeah. C for knives? Yeah. <laughs> oh, very funny. Uh, but is it C for mechanic wise? No. I like it. I feel like knives is either boring or when it's exciting, it's a little too strong. Planning your turns ahead, what you want to trade for a counter and what card you want to have in the game and you can loot for like flexibility. Knives has a lot of, it's like looting, like cycling and the plus one plus one counters. In yeah, like but it also two. doesn't have an, like an identity. You connive for a bunch of different things and you're never like, oh, this feels like I'm conniving. It doesn't feel like trample where you're punk. Yes, conniving isn't cool as a word. That I don't like as a name. Reconfigure is not that exciting. No, equipment's upgrade. Yeah, and it's cool that sometimes it's a creature, sometimes it's an equipment. You can take your monkey and attach it to you. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know if it's A. It's not exciting enough to be an A. B. B. Oh no. Oh no, no. Why is this an A? Outlast is famously so dull. <laughs> and it's plus one plus one counters at sorcery speed. Yeah. It's so slow. You're never like, really well, I'm doing this really cool thing. I pop it off, pay three mana, get a plus one, plus one counter. And also never saw the light of day. All right, see, I think in this day there's an S plus because it's so fun. I think this makes drafting super duper fun. Some of them are too broken. The one that gives oh, you yeah, like a one. No, all of them are. Yeah, it's so hard to balance. If you play Conspiracy where they have this and you didn't take this, you're doing a mistake. Yeah, yeah, no. Always. Was, but that's it. It was. It was too strong when you had it. It's super fun, but it's also, it would be S or S plus, but it stays in A. Constellation in A, something that looks at enter the battlefield effects is not that exciting. It's it's cool. I mean, it's, it's like strong. a form of landfall, just it's about enchantments. I assume landfall is also quite high. Yeah, landfall, because everyone plays lands. Yeah, but people can build around And you're incentivized. Oh, you're not incentivized to play one enchantment per turn in all of your decks. No, but people are very eager to play enchantments in their enchantment decks. Yeah, but it just doesn't feel like a very exciting mechanic. Although in an enchantment deck, it's pretty powerful. I would say it's a B. Okay. I say Goat just belongs in A. It's very fun in Commander. Yes. Improvise. A. Eminence is so flavorful. Eminence is flavorful, but at the same time, I mean, it affects everything all the time. It's problematic a bit. I like it today. I would even put Escape as an S. It's like... Yeah, Escape is like flashback, but for your creatures, at an extra cost. Yeah, you because it's a creature. Spells, you have some... Yeah, I like it as an S. Oh, it's the first upgrade to an S. Oh. I don't know. Dem demonstrate is okay. It feels like the other commander ones where it's just like, but in this case, you decide. You're like, you get to copy it. Yeah. You decide who's your friend. It's a good bargaining chip. Yeah. Okay, it's season eight. Flashback and transform. Anything that does flashback, people like playing magic cards. So if you get to play magic cards twice, <laughs> it's double the fun. Yep. Yeah. Hey, hey. Decay. How is Decade an A? Decade is you make a bad creature once. It seems a bit irrelevant, huh? Yeah, it's it's okay. It's like it's, it's fun, but it's, it's a not a. It's a C. It's a C. Right, it's awesome. It's a pure mechanic. Once again, when you teach people to attack more often, beginner players don't attack that much. They're like, oh, I'm just gonna keep this here. This is telling you, no, turn your creature sideways. You need to create a clock. Raid tells you that. Raid is great. A. Yeah, I'm very surprised. I would even put in an S. I'm very surprised Raid showed up that late in Magic as a mechanic. I I think the main reason is not that exciting. But it, it teaches you to play better magic. It's really good, but it's not. I wouldn't have anything against an S if you, if you feel. Well, let's give it an S. It's so, fun. It's really fun. Like tribal flames, boom for five. Yeah, I don't know if it's A. It's it's okay. It's like oh look, I have three. It's true that. It's A okay. It's A. <laughs> or as we call it in Berlin, Chanel. We, no, people don't speak French in Berlin. Canal. I do. That was in French accent. <laughs> that was a French accent? On the lands, channel is awesome. It's basically kicker. Let's, let's, or a form of... Everything is basically kicker. So let's keep it an A. Okay. You want your magic cards to do many things. Ward. In the amount of those Shroud Hexproof ring, Ward is oh. an S+. Plus. Oh yeah, that's it. Actually, I would say w they took Hexproof and Shroud, which yeah. were poorly made mechanics, and actually fix fixed it in a way that no one minds. Yeah. No one is bothered by Ward. If anything, it's cool. I would say Ward is an S. All right, agreed. Ward up to S. S flashback. A. It's plus one plus one point counters, but it's more fun plus one plus one counters. Because your creature comes back and then... It's basically a retrace. Once. once. Retrace. <laughs> it's basically a flashback. Yeah, but, but it's many, many times. Yeah, but you have to have like the contradiction of playing your land or not, so keeping it for later. Yeah, okay. I'd, uh, st 
some things like Raven's Crime just feels bad. It feels cool to use Retrace when you use your land as something else. Okay, no, I don't think Populate is an A because it's not very exciting. It's just, yeah, always just make another token. You see this token? You get two of them. B. B. Like oh, undying, undying. But it's still cool. I think this is a clever one they did. Yeah. Because this is one that the modality feels... So this is, this is Cleave in cool. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, Cleave was also cool. And we upped Cleave to an A. So, yeah. So this is an S. No. It must be better than Cleave. It is better than Cleave. It's basically the same thing. You pay more and you get more for your effect. It's basically the same thing, but it looks cooler. Overload? Yeah, it feels more... The name is better, so it gets an S. Ninjutsu. Very cool. Your sneaky ninja gets in. I would even argue for an S+, plus maybe. I, yeah, I, people love ninjutsu. You know when we were talking about mechanics that you show people that don't play magic, and they go, oh, wow, this game is cool, ninjutsu is one of them. Show a new player ninja the deep hours, and they'll be like, oh, I want to play this. So flavorful, so good. S, S plus. plus. Well done, ninjutsu. So there's not a lot of good miracle cards. And miracle is not that powerful, but it's so cool. It's so cool. It is so, f yeah, it's so frustrating. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's not an S. That's why it's an S. I like, I like the name in combination to what they do. And like, if you need to rip a bonfire of the dam, but you normally wouldn't be able to pay for it. But if you top deck it, and you're, it's your Entreat the Angels, and you win the game, it's a miracle. It creates such good moments. Unfortunately, it's not a very good mechanic, so it stays in A. This is like a poster child of something you don't need, but yeah. it's so cool. No one dislikes Meld, but it's it's not the best mechanic, but no one dislikes Meld. A. Madness is so broken. Feels so rewarding for Madness. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it takes something that usually feels bad and makes you feel good, so it just makes the world a better place. Hey, I think Exalted is way more exciting than people ever give it credit. Because it stacks. If it didn't stack, just one Exalted, okay, it's like you've got a cheerleader being like, yay, you go in, you're 1-1, one, one, you're a 2-2 two, two now. But once you start ex stacking Exalted triggers and you get a huge creature, it's like the whole army cheering for it. I think it's like you, you name your champion. It's cool. Hey. Wow, you made all that speech for no changes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, Epic is F minus. I would put Epic as an S plus. S plus? I love Epic. Ow. They're, they're so... <laughs> this is the worst mechanic in Magic. You We're, don't play other... It's worse than... It's far, so far worse than Bending. I hope you like putting one one green state creature token to play for each card in your hand because you're not doing anything else for the rest of the game. It's like, oh, were, 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 were we having fun this game? Maybe we're having fun. Let's make it boring now. So let's say you had a commander tab, right? And yeah. you really need to eat your pizza. <laughs> Epic is the best thing you can do. Okay. The only argument for this is that you don't have to play Magic after you play okay, it. Okay, I'm not unreasonable. It's fine. So we settle for an S. F. S. F minus. The worst mechanic in magic. <laughs> okay. Duff, you're let's, delusional. Let's say it's a D. You're just thinking of pizza. A, let's say it's a D, but I just, I have a heart for this, you know. And Balma A sounds good. Basically like internalized. I think Dash is cool. Dash is fun. It gives you a good selection, a choice. You can dash the same creature all the time. Good on Ragavan. A is good. People really like this though. Yeah, it's also. smart. Enchant enchanting creatures, auras, are feel bads. Because if they kill your creature, then you lose the aura. And this has fixed it, because if they kill the creature, you get a 3-3. Three, three. I think Besto is very strong. So here come with another category of split cards, which I think are also kind of flashbacking very high. Yeah, so flashback, but split cards. I think it's good. A affinity. Affinity for artifacts in A. That's uh, a Jamin is an affinity guy. One. I can see that. Yeah, yeah, I mean yeah, I mean likes counting. It's a rich part of magic history, but it's there's a reason they're really careful with affinity cards now. I think affinity as a concept is really cool. Affinity for artifacts, maybe a little bit too problematic. Yeah, too problematic. I think we don't shift it to C. Although it's so iconic. Agreed. It's Love a classic. It. Everyone loves prowess. Not exciting, not unexciting. <laughs> okay. There's a reason they don't do that many defenders anymore, but some creatures, in case you wanted to be sure that people didn't attack with their zero eights. I think it's more flavor, but it's good flavor. Hey. That's a big one. I don't like Death Touch. I would put it lower. I was actually gonna say it should go higher. It's like you have a 1-1 one -one at Death Touch and everybody feels bad. The 1-1 so, one -one player, the 6-6 six -six player. Normally, how often would you say you survive combat against a frog? Like a hundred percent of the times, right? A yeah, frog. Yeah. What if it's a poison frog? Oh, I don't eat it. That should be fine. No, you touch it and then you touch your food and you die. Death Touch works in the wild. Death Touch is flavorful and it's very powerful. Giving a creature Death Touch is very good. Yeah, it's flavorful. I don't know. It feels like a B, C to It me. feels like an A. It feels, like, it, it feels like an S, but I'm gonna... <laughs> I mean, maybe the comments. That's all the A's. 
Let's see, we had our first S plus. All right, this took us, this this is taking a while, so let's get into the S immediately, because I can't wait to see what Yamin put in there. Storm again? No, this is Mill. Ah. <laughs> Mill is awesome. Unfortunately, people love Mill. For the twisty weirdos who just don't want to play the game correctly and need it to be special. Yeah, they, they see, oh, okay, so you win the game if your opponent goes to zero life, and they go, just, is there any other way of winning the game? With a little game? keyword, you can make all of them happy. Yeah, Fuse, we said it, split cards, they're good. So are Fuse. Is this flashback? Could this be Kicker? It's flashback and Kicker? Yeah, no, this this is a ball, like, they, they brought back Adventure recently with uh, Wilds of Eldraine, and everyone's happy about it because it's an S tier mechanic. I like it. Investigate is awesome. Yeah, probably Inspector. Like, sure. If Investigate was when you play this card, you draw you draw a card, yeah. it would not be very good. It'd be, it'd be too good, no. actually. But having it an artifact is Yeah, too... so it plays on the tokens you have on the battlefield, but it also draws cards. Investigate is very cool. Todd, yeah. is, is this kicker? <laughs> it's basically kicker. Yes. So basically a nod to every commander thing that you can use it with other partners. Yeah, and the cool thing about partner is you want to build a specific commander deck, but you're restricted by your colors, so it gives you more versatility. Genius. I think it's great. Ooh, that's a very high. Oh, that's really high for learn. Thing is, learn was completely irrelevant. It's not playing standard, but no. It one was played by divide by zero. If the lessons were better, I would see learn in S, but I think learn is a B. I agree. Not Sorry, Yamin. Ooh, companion. <laughs> I disagree. The comment section is already starting to get bigger. I disagree. The problem is they it's so hard to balance. So they made so many either yeah. terrible companions that are not played anywhere. I can see all those issues. Or, I mean, besides the oh, do you want to add three to a mana cost because we horrifically misjudged how strong they are. <laughs> yeah. But have you ever like opened a pack of booster drafts so, and saw a companion and think like, yes. I can one. make this work. Yeah. Well, also, have you ever opened a booster pack and been like, yeah, I'm never going to be able to fit this in a draft deck ever? Yeah, yeah I, I just... Uh... So let's say we're, we're talking only about the current companion after the errata, mm -hmm. not the original companion. I still think it's too hard to balance to make it fun. And if you make one that's good, every game is that just game. Just be better at designing and make them real. Uh, unfortunately, they have some of the best people in the world. A whole team designing these cards and they still made a bunch of broken ones. So I think companion is super cool. That's why Commander is so popular. We're not going to see them again because it's kind of a design mistake because you all the games become the same game. I am very sure we see Companion again. I say A. I said A. Hey. How? The hey. The hey bit to the hey bit to who? That sounds like he's agreeing. Chroma doesn't deserve to be next to Devotion. That's true. Devotion is so cool and encourages you to... It's really hard to c convince people to play Monocolored. Yes. Because but Devotion does it. But Devotion does it so well. Devotion they, is wonderful. Like when they have Devotion card like north to five, they go like, oh, one, <laughs> two, three, four, five. It six. feels like you're storming. Yeah. Right? So Devotion stays an S. I say in Chroma, I don't know, C. They belong together. Like, unfortunately. Chroma will never return again because Devotion is too bad. Oh, S. S plus even. The, this, when this card is not good, you just trade it for another card. Wonderful. Really yeah. well done mechanic. Yeah, I don't know why Jamin had like an issue with S. Like an S+. Plus. I say Cyclone is an S+. Plus. They bring it back all the time and then whenever they do, everyone's happy. Jamin, Jamin, Jamin. Suspend is S? It's, it's cool for your opponent also because they can plan ahead. So suspend on cards that cost zero mana, that you're forced to suspend, is bad. Yeah, I agree. But suspend on expensive cards, very cool. So I, I'd agree. It's basically like Scry. Yeah, I don't know if Surveil is exciting. So it's tough, because I would say Scry is S or S+. Plus. Yes. So normally you go like, yeah, sure, Surveil is also S or S+. Plus. Yes. So it doesn't feel like a creative mechanic, but it's powerful. Yeah, yeah. it's an S. I would put the second as S+. Plus. I agree with it being an S. Let's just keep it there. Oh. I'm surprised it's not an S+, plus, considering Yemen is obsessed with proliferate. It's too complicated and too mind-blowing to be an S+. Plus. Yeah, it might be too confusing for new players, but I think it definitely belongs in S. Living Weapon is equipped, but better? So wait, wait What do you mean where? better? Because you get a one-time thing? Yeah, but- Because you get a creature equipped. If you draw equipment and you don't have a creature, it feels bad. But if you have Living Weapon, welcome to a new world. Yeah, but then the things are underpowered, right? Yeah, but they make the cards worse, but yeah, it's a I creature mean, it could that- could be becomes... an A. Living Weapon is not too exciting. It's nice that your equipments aren't blanks. I say it belongs in S. I think Level Up is so cool. I'm surprised it wasn't in the D&D set. <laughs> True. Other games have this, why not Magic? I'm surprised they don't bring it up more often. The fact that it's only sorcery speed, 
makes it so good. Yeah. Because if not, it would be too strong. You Okay, you keep up your counter spell. If you don't use it, you level up your creature a, a bit. Or you in combat. The fact that this is not a combat trick, this is an investment into making your character better. This is good. It's a well-made mechanic. S. S is good. Evoke. Oh, I love Evoke. I would say it's S+. plus. So it's basically a split card. It's kicker. No, it's, <laughs> it's anti-kicker. No, it's a three mana. Ah, no drifter ah, is a three a mana slot, spell yes. with kicker two. You go this way. Yeah. Yes, it's kicker. S plus. Evolve is sounds way cooler than it is. Not just the name. Like evolve cards always blow my mind. I love them so much, but they're never that good. A. A. Uh, it's kicker. Surprisingly. Yeah, kicker. F. Ooh, controversial. Oh yeah, Delph can. I really like Delph. Agreed. It's very problematic. It's a bit like the companion thing. It's very hard to balance. Yeah. My heart says S, Yeah. but my brain says B. What wins usually? My brain. Mm -hmm. S B. it is. Hey. B it is. I could argue Cascade is an S+. Plus. Cascade is super fun. If you because don't do it this living end thing. It's, it's, yeah, that's it. If you're, that's why it's not S+. Plus. Right? Cascade is, you get a second spell for your spell, that's awesome, and it's a gamble, and it's the best part of magic. Yeah. You could win out of nowhere, or it could get you a Lado or Elf. Right. Right? It's, it's so cool, unless you're, you're abusing it and getting zero mana spells or whatever. So fair Cascade as plus, it's just Kicker. No, no, because Kicker is a one-time thing. Buyback makes very unpleasant game patterns where you're playing against the same card again and again. People don't like, mm. if someone draws the same card, the same removal spell three times, your reaction's never like, oh, that's very cool. They're like, oh. I, I hear you, that makes sense. So that way you would put it at a B or something. I would put it at B. It's powerful, so it doesn't deserve to be lower because it is really strong, but the play pattern is. Conveniently, B for buyback. And S instead of S plus, I think trample, if I tell a player, a new player, this has trample, they kind of understand what it does. Mm -hmm. The word is really good, and there's a reason this has been around since the beginning of Magic. Just your big things should also hit. You can't, you shouldn't be able to block an eight eight with a one one a lot of the time because they would just trample over them. I think but where does the damage go? Like to you? To the planeswalker. Agreed. S plus easy. S plus. S plus. I don't know. I think you should be able to destroy stuff. <laughs> Having stuff that is indestructible is cool, right? Yes, but Life having the Colossus. The fact that Exile exists means we'll keep Indestructible at A. Love it. A, 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 S plus. S plus. Agreed. Wait, Flying is flying not an is S plus? Flying is not an S plus? Some could argue it's basically just horse nature. <laughs> no, it's Bear Woman Car. <laughs> it's Bear Woman Car. Was it Bear Woman <laughs> Now it is. I, flying I think is S plus, right? S, yeah. And magic needs. It's like Shadow Fixed. It's bear woman car. Yeah. Flying, it's very good. Yeah, I agree. It's like, flying is like shadow fixed. You heard it here first. Fine. Yeah, S is good for it. Wow, we're, we're getting a lot of heavy hitters. And I don't think first strike deserves to be an S. First strike... Oh, you want to put it down? Oh, no, it deserves higher. Ah. I'm surprised we haven't seen double... Is double strike an S plus? If double strike is an S plus, then first strike deserves to be an S plus. It makes sense. The guy with the longer sword hits you first. Double strike is way more exciting than this. Yes, it is. But first strike, if you had never seen double strike, <laughs> first strike seems awesome. There needs to be first strike <laughs> Wait for till there you to see be double strike. Yes. Wait till you see triple strike. <laughs> I say S plus. I disagree. S. It remains an S. Double strike. <laughs> double strike. Okay. At least. If you don't, if you didn't give me S first strike in S plus. I will give you S for double strike. Uh, S plus, S plus for, double. for double strike? Yeah. Here we go. It's so exciting. It's good. Oh, that was S. Okay. okay. Ooh, so now. 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 The Cream of the crop. <sighs> this is the best mechanics you've ever seen in 250 plus mechanics in Magic. First one, split cards. Basically kicker. Naturally. Yes, this is great. This is really strong. S plus. S plus. Landfall. Landfall? I agree. This is this is way better constellation because everyone wants to play lands. Also, also it makes you keep your lands. I wouldn't normally say that it's S plus. I would say S. Make an argument for me. If you would remove like actual fetch lands, landfall would be cooler because it's harder to balance. But the way you have to keep your lands and play them after and you get rewarded for something you want to do anyway and playing a land feels cool. And It's then true that it makes cards like Rampant Growth that are awesome feel even more cool. It feels yeah, like a combo. Yeah, 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 S plus. I guess it was not out of design, lack of design space, but just lack of printing capacities that took them so long mm. to use the back of the card. Other card games had that way earlier. 
Yeah, but other card games don't print at the same volume. That's true. I, How about easy? There's no Wonder question. Wonder S Plus. Yes, it's always fun to transform stuff. Yamin is too young to put Morph in S Plus. I guess he played with Mega Morph. With Khans, I think he played. I, I, it's cool, is the sub game of what's your Morph card, but most Morph cards are not that good, so you usually know in Cube. It's like they, a they Morph them. thing. Yeah, it's like Fortel. I don't think this is S Plus. I think it's S. It's a super fun mechanic. Yeah. And this year overshot. Well, it's basically kicker. It's basically kicker. <laughs> <laughs> so an A? No, no. If there was an S plus plus, this would be it. Uh, just for context, for people that don't know, kicker allows super modality cards early that you'd want to play early. They are good late cards that normally the big flashy cards you get to put a kicker cost and you make them good early. It just makes the game of Magic feel smoother, more fun. It's, yeah. it's good, well made mechanic. Naturally. Slam dunk. You like playing magic cards? What about playing them twice? Oh. I don't know about crew. Do you like vehicles? No. Is that the only person in the world who doesn't like vehicles? Wait, are we talking about real vehicles or, or magic ve no, vehicles? No, vehicles, concepts in magic. Isn't it cool? And crew is my, it kind of the representation of this? Like, I don't feel like a big part of everyday life is, like, equipment. I can equip a spoon, I can equip a fork, I can equip a rope. <laughs> but you don't use a, I guess unless you're in the US or something, you don't use a vehicle that often. Your bike is a vehicle. Oh, that's true. S. S. I'll accept S. Because, yeah, I, I had afraid you'd want to put it to A or something. I would put it to A, but let's accept it's S. It's such a crucial part. So this is fixed affinity. Yes. Right? Um, we had the uh, artifact one, but the artifact one is different because not every deck play artifact, so it's it's very linear to a specific mechanic. Tapping is a real cost. Yeah, tapping is a real cost, especially in decks with a lot of creatures. Yes. Uh, and you can do really cool things. And when you tap all your board for a big Convoke spell, you feel like you pulled something off. Yeah, if you ever had those, I mean, there's this Convoke deck in Pioneer, those turns where you go like, creature, 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 tap all of them, another yeah, yeah, yeah. big creature. You know, it feels just on point. As cool as Changeling is, it's not that exciting. It needs like a specific surrounding where you care about multiple creature types at once so that it matters that it's changing. Otherwise, yeah, it's just a joker for any changeling. Like for yes, any which is very cool and nice to have in Magic and people like making ch yeah, uh, changeling decks, but if it's I play not an elf S+. Deck, I play an elf deck and I play a fey deck, right? I don't care that it's the same card I'm putting in between both. Yeah, so I don't think this is S plus at all. I would say A, slam dunk. S plus. Okay. Equipments are an S plus. They are a pivotal part of magic. They're usually never too broken. When they're too broken, it's because of another card. Yeah, that was it. That was it. From Look at that. All the 250 mechanics, only 13 made it to S plus. So you're going to disagree with a lot of this, but no, 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 no. it's scientific. Oh, you're not going to disagree with any of this, but if you want to try, you can leave a comment below. Yeah, just comment below every single rating for all the things that you do. Yeah, just a 250 line comment. We'll read it, maybe. Uh, hopefully. Oh, I'll try. In, in one t a comment. Yeah. Kicker. F. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. Uh, that was Yamin's tier list. Tell us how he did, how we did. We'll see you in the next video.